we're sorry if we ruined the toast. Clearly you had some kind of grand moment planned. Ugh, forget the toast. Onward and upward. Now, undoubtedly, my motivation in this enterprise is clear. Vengeance. Vindication. But, I must ask, what of you two? Of what do you dream? What motivates you? Well, I... No, no, forget, forget it. It's... Never mind. No, my dear Sheila, I insist. What would you achieve if you could achieve anything? I... I always wanted to be a dancer. Why do you want to dance? Why do you want to live? Well, I, I don't know exactly why, but I must. That's my answer, too. Ever since I was a demitas, I knew one day it would happen. I spent hours every day learning everything I could. You know, assemblé, grand jeté, pirouette, plié, and tour en l'air. One day, my father, he was a yeti tumbler, you know. He didn't care anything but putting in eight hours a day, six days a week. He certainly didn't care about art. One day, he said to me, Sheila, you're just a mug. You don't have arms, you don't have legs, but most of all, you just don't have the heart. I never forgot that. And now, every time I see myself in the reflection of the dishwasher, I say, Sheila, you're not a mug. You're a dancer. You've moved me deeply, Sheila. Thank you for opening a heart that to me is not only present, but bursting with ambition. And Jasper, what lofty heights do you hope to scale? Aw, oh, rapper man, hit up a SoundCloud. guys. Today's work is going to be relatively short. It is going to work essentially just based off of what we started with last week and you were intended to review yesterday if you were finished with the test. So basically remember that in its form, the way we change something from an exponential form to its inverse, to its log form, is by doing the following. If we have a base and it's raised to a power y and that gives us a value of x, then we can rewrite that isolating for y as y equals log base b of x. And you have the chance to work with different versions of that in the homework from last week, which you were intended to review yesterday. But there are two particular forms that in mathematics we use a lot. The second one, which I'm going to talk, with, talk about in a minute, is the natural log, the one that involves the value of e. And remember, we can think about e as this special mathematical constant that allows us to reduce something, that allows us to repeat a process almost infinitely over time. Uh, if you paid attention to the questions on the test about continuous compound interest, you got that idea. But the other one is working in log base 10. Base 10 is really pretty simple. Base 10 is our counting system, 10 fingers, 10 toes. So we use these two a lot. So we call them different things. We call the first one, the one in base 10, the common log because it's common to our existence. And we call the second one with base E the natural log. And here's the basic rules there. Notice that there's no base here. If you see log of a value X and there's no base, generally you should assume that base is 10. So you can use that to do your problem. So the rule for the common log is that Y equals log of X without a, without a base if X equals 10 to the y. In other words, if 10 can be assumed to be the base. The same thing here. You'll notice we don't write log in this case, because how would we tell them apart otherwise? We write this one as ln, and we can get into our Latin later, but that stands for natural log. That's why we call this the natural log. y equals the natural log of x if, and only if, x equals e to the y. So they're exactly the same, you can just see that they allow us to presume what a base is without it actually being written there, because those are ones that we use commonly. So these are just variations on things that we did before, just recognizing what the base is. 
So I find that it's almost always helpful to think in exponential forms and then just put everything back where it belongs. So if we look at this first one, e to the zero equals one, that makes sense, anything to the zero power equals one, how would we write that in logarithmic form? Well, remember, base raised to a power, right, equals a value, b to the y equals x. Now, because we're writing this one with e, we don't really need to worry about it. So by writing natural log here, we assume that the value of the base is e. e raised to the first power gives us a value. So if we think about this the right way, we could write this as log of one equals zero. And think about it, if this is base e, just check your work to make sure you're right. e to the zero power equals one. So this is really just conversions. And then I'm gonna switch in a minute and show you some others, all right? What about here? Remember, now we're not gonna have to worry about our base anymore because we can see our base is 10 here, right? So if we read this correctly, 10, if we think about it, right? I'm, I'm confusing myself here, sorry about that. B to the X, log base B of X equals Y. So if we always think about our Y as our exponent, then that gets really easy for us to do here. So we just put everything in the proper place. Log of one over 100 equals negative two. In other words, 10 to the negative two power equals one over 100. Hopefully by this point, you ought to have a pretty good sense of what's going on here. We have e raised to the k power equals w. We know our base is e, so we're gonna be working with natural logs here. So the natural log of w equals k. In other words, e raised to the k power equals w. These are conversions just like what we did before, only with specific and common and, and, and va uh, base values that you see used over and over again. Quick dissolve, I'm gonna show you two more examples and then we'll be done for the day. Okay, so really only two more sets of things that we need to worry about here. So the first examples we looked at, we went from exponential form to logarithmic form. Now we're just gonna do that in reverse. So again, I erase the forms, but you should work enough with them to kind of have them in your mind. All right, so if we have to take this log, log of 10 equals one. First off, since we see log with no base, then we know the base must be 10. So base raised to a power equals a new value. This is really easy. We just write 10 to the first equals 10. Hey, good news. You know you did it right if when you go back and check your work, it makes sense and 10 to the first does equal 10. All right, what about that next one? The natural log of 20 equals two. Well, the only trick here is knowing what the base is. And because it's a natural log, we know the base is e. So e squared equals 20. Pretty simple there. How about this last one? The log of x minus 1 equals t. Don't let the variable scare you. We know our base is 10 here. So we're just going to write 10 to the t power equals x minus 1. These are just converting back and forth. Don't worry that you're not immediately seeing an answer. Here are ones where we're gonna be able to produce answers that are useful to us. Evaluate just means tell me what the answer to these are. In other words, what goes after the equal sign? Well, think about this first one. These are really simple. Log base 10 of 100, okay? 10 raised to a power equals 100. Well, that's 10 to the second power. Simple enough, so the answer to that one is two, all right? Natural log of the square root of e. All right, the base of a natural log is e. So what power, our answer, do we have to raise e to to get square root of e? And the answer there is one half. And then lastly, what is the log of one? All right, base 10 raised to what power gives us one? And the answer there is zero. This stuff for the most part is pretty simple once you can get your head wrapped around the format of it, the way we structure it and the way we convert. Homework is gonna be simple. I want you please 
to get some rest and whatever you can to get time with loved ones, whether it's in person, whether it's at a distance, whether it's maintaining proper social distancing, we're all in this together. So I want you to know that you are always on my mind. Uh, I wanna see you do well, and I can't wait to see you all again when we all get back one day. Uh, have a great Easter break, and I will see you on the other side. Yeah, kind of going for a Black Bear meets Machine Gun Kelly kind of feel.